Hey everyone, um, I'm going to show you how to do a pizza in our Micro Pro Grill with the ring. So, I'm doing one with crescent rolls. Got my thing of crescent rolls. Spaghetti sauce, you can make your own. I'm using ragu. And some cheese that we've shredded. I got shredded. And then I'm using Canadian bacon because I like Canadian bacon. So the recipe calls for, let's see if I can figure out where to start this. First, you put down four pieces. Let's see. Ah. Okay. So you're going to use four pieces to kind of make the crust. So basically all you're going to do is take and put this in your MicroPro using the circular, let's see. I have never made this, so this is my first attempt. I have seen it done and it looks really good. The people who made it said it was really good. Um, so I thought, why not? I'll give it a try. I've got to cook dinner for me and Munchkin tonight because my husband's at work. So, um, why not? Okay. So, of course, you all want to make sure that you're covering up all the little holes because you're going to be putting pizza sauce on here, so you don't want to. So, I only really needed three. We're going to make sure that it's all the way. Okay. So, we've got our pizza crust. So we'll take our ragu, pop it open, put some on our dough. You can put on as much or as little as you like, depending on how you do, like your pizzas. I honestly tend to go a little lighter on the sauce, but I'm also funny that way. Ah, oh, well, let me rephrase this. I'm funny, period. <laughs> I'm kind of a picky eater, so, you know, it is what it is. So, put your sauce on. I'm going to put just a little bit more just in case because I am feeding this to the munchkin. We're going to share. Okay. So, once I've done that, take and sprinkle my cheese. Now, we have a mixture of mozzarella, parmesan, and cheddar. You can use whatever kind you like. Um, either buy it pre- Shred it or save yourself some money and do it with the Shredmaster. Because um, it saves you money. Yeah. It's amazing actually how much I was looking at the price difference. And it's like almost twice as much to have it shredded for you. It's really expensive. So, got our cheese. Now I'm going to lay my Canadian bacon all around the edges here. Now you can do pepperoni, you can do meat, you can do veggies. If you're one of them people who like pineapple on your pizza, go for it. Um, nice things is, yeah, you can make these any way you want. I'm putting lots of Canadian bacon on because I really do like my Canadian bacon. I'm actually going to put a little bit of a second layer on just because okay. add 
this last little bit of Canadian bacon I have. Okay, so I've got my Canadian bacon, I've got my cheese. Now, the Micro Pro lid has two ways to go on. We're gonna see if I can sh show you. It either fits all the way over if you're doing a grill type thing or you do it to the side and it just kind of covers it. And that's how we'll be using ours. So we're gonna put this in the microwave. Yes, the microwave. Oops, after I cleaned it out. We have cats and so this is kind of where we put our uh, storage items to keep the cats out of it if we forget. So put it in my messy microwave for nine minutes on 60% power and start. And I will see you in about nine minutes. So hold on guys. So we're about finished. So pretty soon it's gonna go beep, beep, beep. We're gonna take it out and see what it looks like. Please make sure you have protective hand gear. It is hot. The Micro Pro will be hot. Pull it out, see, came right out of the microwave, which is awesome. This is the top, I'm gonna put it off to the side here. And, oh, this looks delicious, 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 delicious. So I will let it cool, pull it out, and we'll see how it goes. So, okay, here we go. Doesn't that look delicious? So all I've done is removed the ring so far. Now please remember when you're taking this out, use, do not use metal. Oh, it's pizza. Finish cooling it, we'll cut it and oh, see how it is. Oh, I can't wait.